And of course, for many people, the shootings caused flashbacks to August 3rd. 23 people were killed next door to the mall. ABC 7's Katie Frazier joins us now live to talk about how living through another shooting may be impacting you. And her reporting is part of our Be Mindful campaign. Katie. Panic, fear, and sadness. Those are some of the responses we've been getting from you, the viewers, about your reactions to the shooting yesterday. This is now the second shooting that has impacted a large group of people. And for those who are there, and even for those who weren't there, it could cause a variety of emotions. If you are feeling negatively about Wednesday's incident, you aren't alone. The director of the critical intervention team told me having those types of feelings are a completely normal reaction. People um, that actually either were at the Walmart shooting or they witnessed it on TV, whatever the situation was, those symptoms will come back because that's how the brain works. Um, it starts those uh, fragments of those memories. And so yesterday, yeah, we were seeing people that actually were hyperventilating some anger, some uh, guilt, some irritability. There's a lot of those symptoms that, that we see across uh, multiple populations. So coming up tonight, at six o'clock, we'll hear some of your reactions and or reactions to the shooting and how you could get help if you are experiencing trauma from yesterday's incident. But for now, Katie Frazier, ABC7. All right, Katie, thank you.